Lakers! Yeah. Picnic time. Uh, and this is our 4th of July week, and we're celebrating the birthday of America. Yeah. And uh, we're celebrating also my 60th yeah. anniversary of preaching the gospel. Brother Jim, I am sitting here, and this is concerning your SOS, your call for help. Those of you that are watching and those of you that are here, the reason why my family and I are, some of you saying, how do they know to do TV? I've been doing TV my whole life. And the reason why I do TV. There, there's not many like you. Mm -hmm. I know, I know that, but the reason why I'm doing TV, and I've done it my whole life, is because when my daddy was a country preacher in eastern Arkansas, he would turn on the television, my mama would turn on the television, and she would watch PTL. But my daddy was inspired to do television, but I had a grandma who was one of your partners who sewed and got on a, I'm talking Pentecostal hair up in a bun, wouldn't wear a skirt unless she had and pants unless she had a skirt over the top of a Pentecostal woman. She got on a bus with her sister, went to Charlotte just to be there. And so I'm saying the reason why we are in ministry today is because of the seeds that my grandma and my father sowed. If people, want their, if people want their families to be involved in the things of God, it doesn't mean everybody's going to be behind, in front of the camera. Some are going to be behind it. Some are going to be supporting it and never step foot on this property. But the fact is when you sow into somebody else's vision, when you sow into like faith, you get like harvest. Amen. So I challenge you, be a blessing. You set forth vision. And so I'm just going to set my faith in agreement with you. 1,000 partners with a gift of $1,000 this month for this ministry. And it's not just going to be a one-time thing. Increase in abundance is coming. To, he did it once. He's going to do it again. And he's going to do it in spite of the naysayers, in spite of those that said it can't happen, in spite said, well, we don't lie. God doesn't check with you before he decides to bless his prophet. He's going to do it. Let me tell you. I tell He's going to do it because of your naysayers. Yeah. He's going to shut it. their mouth. Yeah. He's going to say, you think so? Let me show you who I am because I am yeah. God. I'm believing God that people will send in that thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. I'm believing God for a thousand people it's to give a thousand dollars. You know, that's a million dollars. You happen. know what you're saying, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Because yeah. That, that's a lot of money. Yes. And it's, it takes a miracle. Now, Lori and I, we've already given, I've given two $1,000 gifts already yeah. to you. this ministry. I'd like some of you to think about giving that thousand dollars if you can. Someone said, I'm going to do, do She's Amen. doing it. Wow. Praise God. Praise going to begin God. right here. Woo. Someone else is and back. Going to begin yeah. right Thank here. Four. Two, two thousand on the front seat right there. Wow. Whenever God moves, you yeah. got to move with God. Right. You know, right. This and I'm just believing for a miracle. In Deuteronomy 1, 11, it says, May the Lord, the God of your fathers, increase you a thousand times and bless you as he has promised. Right. There is a harvest attached to yes. these seeds. Yeah. Right. There is a harvest attached. Brother, I can't tell you how many people I know who have sown into your ministry Absolutely. and they're in ministry today because of what yeah. Yeah. they sowed into Absolutely. you and God right. blessed them through you. Right. Amen. Right. The anointing right. is still on you. That's right. why the devil's been trying to take you out. You brought me here to sing, not to preach, but I'm telling you, you're an anointed man of God and yeah. the devil's going to lose and you're going to win and with long life, he Amen. will satisfy yeah. you right. and show you salvation. Yeah. You know, you what? Know, when you were speaking God. that, the Holy Spirit says, tell him, as your days are, yeah. so shall your strength be. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yes, yeah. yeah. let it be. Uh, Come on, say it with me. As my days are, so shall your strength be. One more time. As, as your, your days, days are, are, so shall your strength be. And, and his yes. strength is made perfect. Yeah. In your weakness. Amen. Yes. Your yeah. ingredient of weakness added to God's strength makes yeah. God's strength Perfect, yeah. Because he needs the ingredient. Because if, if it wasn't for grace, and if it wasn't for goodness, yes. we wouldn't be here. And I, I, know, I just know this. I'm going to give a thousand dollars today as well. Yeah. And man, we we are with our mission work. We we are fighting all hell itself. But I'm going to tell you something. A thousand dollars won't fix my problems, but God will. Yeah. 
And if you activate God in your circumstance, yeah. mm. then you suddenly move into a dimension that's beyond your own. Mm. Yeah. And I'm watching someone just now, and you have a, a need of a miracle right now that money won't meet. Yes. You may be sick in your body. It may be your marriage, your home, maybe your business. I don't know. And you're saying, God, I've got to have an answer. Mm -hmm. And God allowed you to be a part of this crazy family yeah. that God has put together yeah. To challenge you to say, if you will rise in faith, God can rise further than mm. your faith ever will. Mm. And he says, prove me now. You do what you're going to do, yeah. and you watch what I'm going to do. And I'll promise you something. Mm. If you've got a teaspoon, God's got a bucket. If you've got a bucket, God's got a shovel. If you've got a yes. shovel, God's got a bulldozer. Amen. And he's waiting for you to step yes. up and say, God... Mm. I don't know why I'm being prompted to join this folks giving a thousand dollars. But I'd love nothing more than this July the 4th weekend to the word to go to Jim and say, Jim, you won't believe this. We didn't reach a thousand. We went way above a thousand. A thousand people giving a thousand dollars. Listen what it would do. It would set this, it would right the ship of this ministry again that has gone through an unbearable storm. COVID by itself has rocked America. You imagine having COVID put upon you and then dumped on by other things that I, I will not give time or space to. But you know what I'm talking about. And the fact that Jim Baker and Lori Baker are sitting here today, sound and in the right minds is a miracle. Having a stroke on top of it all. And I'm watching people just now that whose lives have been changed by this man. He's spoken and brought voices into your life that has transformed despair into hope. And I believe right now that there are people watching that can give a thousand dollars. There's a thousand of you. Let me tell you something. There's ten thousand yes, of you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Father. And I'm yes. challenging you right now in the name of Jesus to put your issues in perspective in the picture of God and say, I'm going to give because I know that whatever I do, I'm activating heaven on my behalf. Yes. Can I pray? Yes. Father, in Jesus' name, I'm looking at someone right now that needs a miracle so bad and the devil has kicked them silly this last couple of days because there's no answer. And here we are in front of them right now, and the Spirit of God is moving upon you louder than my voice, louder than anyone else's voice. And when that voice speaks, it is the most precious commodity you will ever have in your life. And I pray, Holy Spirit of heaven, speak now to people that will go and write a check and say, I am part of a miracle. I am part of the standard that rises up when the enemy comes in like a flood. Devil, you will not win. You will not succeed. You will not be victorious because God is on our side. And if God be for us, who can be against us? Yes, and we are the, if God be for us, part of this miracle. Speak, I pray, in the name of Jesus. Now, right now, why don't you write the check right now? I don't have my checkbook with me, but I promise you, Jim, the moment I get home, I'm going to send you a check. He'll write back. And let me tell you something. I've been with this man before. We built PTL in Charlotte by checks when there's no credit cards. Folk gave and gave and gave, put dollars in envelopes, put checks in envelopes. And if the devil thinks he can stop God's work, He's dumber than I Amen. thought. <laughs> because all it does to me is make me more determined that no one's going to stop me being part of God's answer to this world. Do it right now in the name of Jesus. Chomper, could you pick a song that works right now and just sing it while we, people write me and people call me? Yes, sir. And give that thousand dollar. We call it the super SOS offering. Fabulous. Yes. And uh, mm. this is this is the moment. Yes. Yes. <laughs>
This is the moment when God says to move. It triggers heaven. Yeah, a gift it. triggers God. Something happens. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I wish I knew. I could write a book about it and make a million dollars. It's when God's in it, yeah. it's anointed. There's this, when it's, the season it, happens, it that's happens. the moment to move. The angels troubling the waters, that's the moment to move. I mean, I can, I can work my head off for you on something, and it won't work. Yeah. God does it. One second. This, it starts moving. Uh, he said he prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Your cup runs over. In other words, God's idea for you in front of those naysayers and those that try to stop you is to bless you with more than enough. Overflowing, cup overrunning out of the bowl and the saucer on the floor plenty left over in the see that scripture is not for heaven the lord is my shepherd i shall not that's for right here because i ain't got no enemies in heaven no. <laughs> for right here right now <laughs> we're ready when you are yeah i'm ready all right can y'all pull that down we'll start this one over here go ahead oh. Like the old wow. I can feel the Lord in this place. Yes. Yes. I know when God's speaking. Right. Thank you. And he's speaking right now. Thank you. The pro most precious thing you'll ever hear is his voice. Yes. That's right. Yes. Nothing else. Nothing else. Compares. Don't ever ignore it. And when he's prompting you, you say, well, Philip, how do I know this is the Lord? Oh, sure. The devil will tell you to give money <laughs> to the kingdom of God. That's what the devil does. He goes around and tells folks, give, give Jim Baker a thousand. That's what the devil says. Nah, I don't think so. If God's talking to you right now, I really believe that this weekend, this 4th of July, a celebration of liberty yeah. could be a celebration of liberty for this ministry to regain the ground that has been taken away by the tortuous journey that they and we have walked through this last year. And you have an answer. I, I, I know when you said this, Jim, a few minutes ago, that, that, and, and I believe Cindy shared this and prophesied this, that there are folks that have $10,000 to give and $50,000 to give and $100,000 to give. I believe that. I believe that you are one of those people that God has blessed for this kind of reason and purpose. And you've had stuff you've gone through. And you've had horrendous setbacks and heartaches that no one else in normal world will ever understand. And something attracts you to this kind of situation when you say, well, whatever they think, I'm going to tell them that they're wrong. And I, as our brother sh shared just now that God's going to do this in spite of your enemies, I'm, I'm telling you now is because of the enemies that God's going to answer this, me this need because there's enough folk out there that are just... I'm, I, Am I the only one that's just stinking mad about the mess that America has no. fallen into this last year? Am I the only one that thinks, my God, what on earth? How can we go from being energy independent and all the things in the right direction and a matter of months they have completely messed up this country? And, and you would think that they are trying to do it all in two years. They better do it all in two years because that's all they got. And I'm here to tell you something, that when the enemy comes in, and I feel it in my bones as I travel this country, that there's a disgust coming from the heart of America saying, this is just not us. We are not these kind of people. We love God. We fear God. We want this country to be known as a nation that goes around the world and preaches the gospel. Right. Yeah. And when Jim just told me, I remember the first time he po told us that he was reaching a billion people back in Charlotte. And I remember all our minds almost boggled at the thought of reaching a billion people. And here we are now reaching 1.6 billion people mm -hmm. in spite of all the devil's done, in spite of all the, the arrows against us, because God is on our side. Yes. And I just call upon every God-loving, yes. challenged American right now. And I'm a Scotsman. So I, I, here I am in, 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 with Jim Baker on my 45th wedding anniversary <laughs> talking to you about how wonderful America is. If I can do all of this stuff here, well, you can help make this miracle happen. And I just challenge, join with That's me true. 
and join with the many folk that this, yeah. the today program said we're going to give $1,000. And I believe that the 4th of July could be one of those days. Remember the day when I was here and there was an ice storm and you had a vision to start the, val the, 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 the tabernacle? tabernacle. Yeah. So what happened was out of that, the tabernacle was built. Yeah. And just every once in a while, God just kisses the world and says, I'm going to show you that I am still God. Mm. And you are still his masterpiece Amen. to do what he tells mm. you to do. Yes. Come on, right now, write a check Amen. and say, I want to be a part of a thousand folk. I want to be a part of 10,000 folk Amen. to make this miracle happen. Wouldn't yes. it be something if the same press that has been kicking us silly would yeah. have to report something <laughs> strange has happened at Morningside. Amen. Their partners have responded again and have confounded everybody. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come Amen. on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Amen. In the old days, we had telethons and all, and when the Holy Spirit moved, we just moved. Yes. That's what we did. Rolled on. Yes, sir. Right. I'll tell you, there's times when we sang the same song. Yes. yes. Over and over. Hours. And over and over. <laughs> One day, the Lord just said, Jim, he didn't say shut up, but he just said, stop talking. <laughs> And he said, I'm going to raise the, an offering. And I sat there for hours and just stacked the money. I don't remember. Just stacked the pledges as they came in. Okay. Just crisscrossed them so I could count them fast, you know. Yeah. And they sang the same. Nowadays, they'd use the term, but just the same song. Yes, sir. Over and over yes, and sir. over. One night, Jim Baker, I would... About one, 11 o'clock at night, he says, we're going to receive an offering, 100 people giving $1,000. Now, this was when $1,000 was up. You could buy a house for $1,000 back then. And he sat in this with a, a, a single st a stool, a seat with a single thing, a white plastic chair. And he says, we're going we're gonna to believe God for 100 folk to give $1,000. And if it doesn't all come in, we're going to tear up all the checks. Oh, yeah. I almost fell over backwards. <laughs> Because this is now 11 o'clock at night, and we started in the morning, and there was only three net, three stations tied up in this one telethon, um, Jimmy Thompson in Greenville, and then the Charlotte station and one others, and we thought we were talking to the world. And I looked, and I said, did he just say, we're going to tear up these checks? And for the first half an hour, nothing. And I'm thinking, oh, my Lord. And then one, and then two, and then five, and then ten. And by the end of that, by the time the hour passed at midnight, 120 people had given $1,000. Wow. Camera folk were running behind the cameras. Folk were driving in. I've seen this moments before. I know when the, the Spirit quickens people. And I feel that right now. It's the same quickening. Yeah. And if you're in this audience and you haven't given, I'm telling you now, ask for rain in the time of rain. Ask when the, when the angel would come down and stir the waters. The first one there was healed. And Jesus stirs us by the Holy Ghost. And I, I sense a, a, a wave coming from across America that's coming right here to Branson, a folk saying, we are with you. We haven't gone away. COVID hasn't, COVID hasn't killed us. And we are expecting God to save America and do something great again. And you are part of it, Jim Baker. And you can make that happen right now if you'll go to your phone or, 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 or write the check. Or can they go to the phone and write? Yes. Then t tell me, Marisol, if I can, yes, they can do they that. can go to the phone I'm right sorry, now, one 888 -988 and it's 24 hours a day, too. So call any time, but go to the phones right now. I, I, do you want to do a song? Sure. I'm Ready? sorry. Did you pick one yet? Yes, sir. Because I, I, I've stopped picking because I'm, I'm going to pick the wrong one. We're, we're ready. <laughs> I'm going to have your, your mother start uh, doing some Vestal Goodman songs, yeah. too. <laughs> she can do it. Amen. She can do it. She, she said Bobby Joe does Vestal. Yeah. I hear Tammy Sue does Vestal, too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You know, come I here, Tammy that. Sue. You know, I you, wish... Come, you, you want to do a duet? Yeah. Can we do it like yes. a polco? Yes. That one we did a while ago, that little thing I played for you. Sue, who cares? Just do the chorus. <laughs> she wants us all to beg her. Come on, please. <laughs> no, no, I would... We're begging you. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, the, the, thing I, the thing that I start, and Tammy Sue remembers this, 
one of the things that <laughs> before there was any groups coming together, we put them together on, yeah. on TV, on Jim Baker's show. Yes, you did. And I would bring all the gospel groups, and I'd bring them with, and they'd start singing together. Mm -hmm. And and when you're when you're in a gospel group, you know so much music that you can sing with other you can sing with other groups. And and that's what they they do with the, what's his name shows Gaither. the Gaither's stuff. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. And and they just all get together and and sing. And that's what we did. And that's what I'm looking for. The Lord. I declared this year the year of music for yeah. our Hallelujah. ministry. Amen. Yeah. And it was at the beginning of the year you said, I declare this We're burning year. out all the mics. Yeah, so. but the thing, the thing is, is that we really didn't know what that looked like, how God was going to bring that to pass, because it... We had Tammy Sue was the only person left that was like a, like a real singer, you know. I mean, I hate to say it like that, but really for real. No, and she we're started. on the we're on the set here, and Jim. That's why Jim. That's why Chopper keeps saying, "You're going to be here the Fourth of July. You're going to be here the Fourth of July," because Jim just took over and just kept speaking it and speaking it, right? Yes. As because I wanted it to happen. Yeah. You spoke it, and you got it. You were created in the image and likeness of God. He framed the world with his words, Hebrews 11 and 3. You're made just like your father. You framed your world with your words. You said, I was going to be here, I'm here. You yeah. said, music is coming, it's coming. And the stations will be paid yeah. and every bill will be met and every part of the vision will be fulfilled yeah. because we decree a thing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. This miracle born in this wilderness of this year. Yep, of absolutely. When this book was written, you'll read about it. Yeah. And this miracle of this new network, when I was at the lowest moment of death, really, I was at death. God swoops in, and we built the largest network, probably one of them in the in the country right now, but it was it's bigger than the old and the old network used to be the biggest in in the country of a Christian wow. network. And so how could God do it when you're Amazing. broken down and, and all but you were a it's death, his strength. You were a death's door, but Jesus said, I am the door. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God walks the dark he you guys sing it. You guys sing it. You go. No. My footsteps, he walks everywhere, by night and by day. He walks in silence on down the highway. God walks the dark Yeah, that just, that just, that's just, oh, this just. You made me do that. I so. did, I did. What was that one? Well, I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. now. Oh, gotta make it to heaven somehow. Though the devil tempts me and he tries to turn me around. He's offered everything that's got a name. All the wealth I want, worldly fame. If I could still, I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Say it again. Well, I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Gotta make it to heaven somehow. Though the devil tempts me and he tries to turn me around. He's offered everything that's got a name, all the wealth I want, and worldly fame. If I could still, I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I can live again. <laughs> I, 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 He's alive. I love it. I'm standing up. That's a miracle. I don't stand a whole lot. Yeah. Praise the Lord. That's a, a little secret. <laughs> Be sitting back there. Sue, thank you for doing this. I know Sue's not been well the last few <laughs> months. And... You know that song you guys just picked? Yes. That's Bestel's first song I ever heard. 
Are you serious? Greenville, South Carolina, at the Civic Auditorium. She walked down the aisle. She came in from the back with a spotlight on her, saying he talked to That was the first time I had heard her in person. Oh, my. And, oh, it just drives me crazy when I hear it now. Mm. Don't, don't, you ever have things that deja vu and that just bring you back to that yes, moment, that great song or something? Yeah. I'm having a little... They're getting your parachutes back here, Mike. <laughs> Mike dropping off problem. Can you do a little bit more of that maybe or something? Can you pull that one track down there? Where uh, God, walks, God the walks the dark hills to guide my footsteps. He walks everywhere. Your, this is your mother, that right? That's my mother, yes, sir. I, you, did you have a grandmother? Oh, yes, sir. Was she as sweet as your mom? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. Yes, sir. This is a you see, to sing this song, you have to be over 70 years old. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me. The God of the valley. Come on, preacher. It's still the God of the mountaintop. Come on, preacher. Unless you've been somewhere. Unless you walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Jesus is the valley walker. He says, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Come on. You make them right. Like I told you, I've been around TV a little bit myself, and I understand the editing process. 
I understand framing the camera. This camera here is on, and, it, and those of you that are looking through the TV, you don't see Tammy Sue to my left. You don't see these tables out here. We're only showing you in the frame what they want to show you in the back. And oftentimes when we look at people and we look at their successes, we are seeing their highlight reel. And you don't see the behind the scenes. The behind the scenes is where you see the scars. Behind the scenes is where you see the broken. Behind the scenes is where you see the valley. more time. Hold a God of the mountain. Yeah. It's still going to the valley. When things go wrong. Oh, they're going to go wrong sometime, but let me tell you, you make them right. This is my anniversary this week, yes, 60 sir. years. Wow. I'm 81, but 60 years of full-time of ministry, and really more than that because I was preaching all through Bible school and all you know how we do. But I, I got to tell you something. Mondo is here to catch me in case I fall over. <laughs> Ever since I had a stroke, I have a falling problem. But it's okay. I, I feel like running, actually, tonight. <laughs> but in my last months of prison, they were somehow the hardest months in a way because they kept promise they were going to let me out. They promised me for two months. In fact, two years, I was granted freedom, and they never let me out. You know, it was, the government loved me so much, they wanted to keep me around. And I didn't think I was ever going to go home. And of course, if it wasn't for people like the Graham family, who oh, just took me in. At the, I had no home to go to. I was, everything was gone. The house I'd raised the kids in, it all burnt to the ground while I was in prison. I watched it burn to the ground from my prison. And so, in the last months of prison, you know, after a while, you just want to go free. You don't know that, do you? <laughs> that I can still go free? I wanted to go free. I wanted to go free, yeah. I wanted to go free. Mm -hmm. I wanted, I wanted to, I would, I'd volunteer to dr drive a lawnmower just to do something because I was in the prison and not, not able to even drive a car or ride or anything. Mm. But I'd turn on the radio. My God. I mean, turn it on and this song would be playing. Wow. The McCamies would be singing it every day. Come on. In that prison cell, on my little, I had a little radio, a little transmitter, transistor, and I turned it on, and the God of the mountain, the God of the valley is still God on the mountain. And, and, and these words, and it would just go into my soul every day, and every day, and every day. And, and I, What's the name of the group again? The McCamies. McCamies. 
Mrs. McCamey, the older lady. Peg McCamey. Peg. And she laughs. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she does. Yeah. <laughs> just, and then she just gets so tickled singing this song that people couldn't figure out, you know, what this song's all about. But she was laughing and singing and shouting. I knew what she was talking about. <laughs> the God of the valley still God on the mountaintop. The God of the mountaintop is the God of the valley. know you're going to need to know this these simple words of this song you've got to understand that the God of the good times still God of the bad times I've been through the roughest year of my life and don't feel sorry for me I don't mean to be, be, it's just true yes but God was there God was there I made it through But he is strong. <laughs> Could you do it one more time? Just one more time. That's all I'll ask. Then I'm going to have you back and sing it some more next month. The God of the mountain is still God in the valley when things go. Don't you want to do one more Goodman song? Hey, well, I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Gotta make it to heaven somehow. Though the devil tis me and he tried to turn me around. Well, he's offered everything that's got a name, all the wealth I want. Worldly fame, if I could still, I wouldn't take nothing for my journey.
they sing a lot of songs. Black. This, this, this is one of the happy. I thought I heard drums. That's my son over there on the drums. Boy, he's a good drummer. Yes, sir. We need it. We, I needed this. Yes. I told, I, I leaned over and I said, Philip, this is therapy. Yes. You know, for some of us, we need to get up and dance a little That's bit, right. get some exercise. Just move your body a little bit, you know. Like an old mule stomp yes. your foot or something. I think another Happy Goodman song went like this. Well, just the way you see my brand new home. Wait till you see this beauty rare. Nothing down here can compare. Just wait till you see my brand new home. You know that My heavenly father's building me. And I'm gonna occupy for free. Just wait till you see my brand new home. We're uh, our overtime. <laughs> this is the kind of church I want to go to. I, 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 I do like happy church. I really do. I, I, we need it. Not just uh, frivolous. I'm talking about praising God. Amen. That brings the presence of God. That brings yes. the healing of God. Yes. Everything comes with yes. His presence. Yes. Wow, this is therapy. Yes. You old people should come to therapy sessions. <laughs> if you're not dancing in your church, you get it, better get going. Yes, amen. Learn a few amen. steps. Dance around a little bit. Amen. Yes, amen, amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. Wow. We've got a big afternoon and a big evening, and, and uh, we've got a great prophet with us tonight, yeah. and, and you're going to want to hear her. Yeah, yeah Marianne. Marianne Peluso, McCann. God has spoken to me that he has raised her up for this last day. Absolutely. And she's one of the, the prophets that kind of got in the background a little bit, but she's been active. You know, mm -hmm. and good things are happening. Yes. And I believe in this last hour, I believe people have given. Yes. I really believe that. I yes. believe we're going to see a million dollars come in at least Amen. from this. Pray uh, the, and we can only grow as much as we have room to grow. And we don't have, we, we, need, we need some more space. And, but God's going to do it. Yes, God's going to do it. it. I'm believing God. We're in, a, we're in the last days. Yes. And I want to be a part of that number. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You know, this has just been an amazing chopper ward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And your amazing just, family. I, I prayed that we would have some old fashioned gospel music. Yep. And, and yeah. this couldn't have been any better. Amen. And I just l loved having Gloria Wilderness here with yeah. us. Yes. And we may be small, but we're mighty. Yes, we are. Amen. We have a group of people that my director's out there on the organ right now. And <laughs> We must going to have revival. The Hammond organ's playing yes, again. Yes, praise God. <laughs> nothing like a Hammond. Yeah, nothing like it. Nothing like a Hammond. <laughs> Hearing all those old songs, and especially having Tammy Sue sing yes. with him, too. Yes. Well, we have a great evening service, so don't miss all the evenings are, and then all day tomorrow. The twins are here already in, in here. Amen. In the house. I don't think I've ever had prophet twins on the show before. <laughs> no. This is the first. Amazing. 
Oh boy. He doesn't want this to end right now. You know, you say this. He just wants you guys to keep singing sing and this. singing and singing. It started and out with the hammer and going and going. <laughs> God is real. Oh, get out there. So good. Good, good, good. Don't do it. He's real in my soul. Oh, my God is real, for he has washed and made me whole. Oh, his love for me. Yes, his love for me. Just like pure gold, yes, like you. pure gold. My God is real, for I can feel Him in my soul. Just go on, say it, say it, say it. Yes, God is real. Yes, my God is real. Ooh, real in my soul. God was real then. He's been real through every time they tried to shut him down, and he still showed up. I come to tell somebody today that the God of miracles is not out of business. He's still showing up. He's still real. One more time. My God is real. This has been amazing. Yes. It never can stop. Amen. This is how I want to go home to heaven, just Amen. like this. Yes. Shouting, singing, praising God. Yes. Amen. Oh. 
I need this. Yeah. Amen. Woo. I don't know what this is a shot of, but it's not adrenaline. It's better than adrenaline. Yeah. <laughs> the anointing. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Sue, so, great to have you here. I hope we didn't wear you down. <laughs> it's awesome. What a time we've had. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. God loves you. Call me right now. Be a part of the miracle here of the SOS offering. God loves you. He really does. Bye-bye for today.